Hey there, and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the Dumba alternating bent over row. We're going to be taking a pronated grip with this specific variation today. This is an incredible exercise for your back. It's also going to be working indirectly your biceps and also your rear delts. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you're standing uh, right inside shoulder width. And then you want to make sure that the dumbbells are in front of you when you bring them down. Also make sure you're bending over at around a 45 degree angle. And then make sure that your chin stays tucked. That way you don't place any unnecessary stress on your neck with your back straight. Once you do that, you want to make sure that you're pulling towards your belly button. And if your elbows come out slightly like this, it's completely fine. I actually recommend it, especially when you're taking a pronator grip. At the end of this video, we're going to talk about some of the mistakes that I want you guys to avoid. Uh, that way you prevent yourself from getting injured and that you maximize your potential with getting the results. But before we continue, here's a word from today's video sponsor. Me, I'm today's video sponsor. And if you'd like help losing fat or gaining muscle, there are a few ways I can help you down below. Either set up a free consultation with us, purchase through one of our free affiliate links, or purchase one of our instant access affordable training programs. Can't wait to be of service to you. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. So like I said, the first thing you really want to be focusing on is getting the angle right with your torso. Uh, the higher you stand up, obviously, the more you're going to be working uh, areas like your traps. And the lower you go, the more you're going to be able to work, I would say, more of the rhomboids, a little bit of the lats also. Another key thing that I want you guys to think about is allowing your scapula to move freely. So the scapula is basically uh, the muscle, uh, the bones in your upper back. So you want that to move freely and you want to be able to actually move it um, downward and upward. So you want it to protract and retract. So when you when the weight's going down, you want to allow that stretch to happen. Like allow your your back to kind of round. Um, I hate using that word because it's, it's not the proper term, but you basically just want to make sure that you allow your shoulders to kind of droop down. And what that does is stretches out your back. And then when you're raising the weight up, you want to think about driving your shoulders back. So shoulders forward when you're going down, shoulders back when you're going up. And the reason that's important is because that's the function of the actual muscles in your back. You have to protract and retract. And that, that's just the function of it. So what you're doing is you're just adding weight to that function and making the exercise effective. Now, one common mistake, though, when you're thinking about actually allowing the scapula to protract and stretch is people start to, they tend to round their their lower and upper back. You don't, you don't really want to do that. I mean, more along the lines of just the scapula instead of the spine, if that makes sense. Uh, the next thing I want you guys to think about is making sure that you're keeping the tempo nice and smooth. So notice I'm not using a momentum when I'm doing this, meaning that I'm not bending over and standing up as I'm raising the weight. I'm just moving the back muscles and the arms. And that's what you want to do also. Uh, you want to minimize your risk. Now, here's some common mistakes that I want you guys to avoid. Half reps. Don't do half reps. Go all the way up and all the way down. Don't do half reps at the top or bottom. Also, don't round your lower, don't round your back like this, and keep your scapula protracted the whole time. Also, like I said, don't round your back. This is just done in a more excessive manner. Also, make sure that you keep your chin tucked. That way, you don't place any unnecessary strain on your neck. And also, you want to make sure that your elbows don't flare out this much.